Hey guys, so here is my last day featuring the Cupcakes and Car well, the Carousel Birthday stamp set. This is from the Occasions Catalog and will be retiring. The stamp set is guaranteed till May 22nd, and after that it is while supplies last. The DSP is also retiring, and you can get it for 40% off right now. It's normally 10 you can get it for 6 and this is while supplies last. So if you really like this DSP, you want to make sure you pick it up because they aren't going to be producing it anymore like these stamp sets. Okay, and this is just until the 22nd, then while supplies last. In May 31st, if it's still available, everything is gone. <laughs> that made no sense. But after May 31st, you will no longer be able to purchase um, the retiring items. I'm also bringing in the Swirly Bird stamp set. This is a really popular stamp set, which is a bunch of weird images, but you can put them together to create some wonderful um, cards. This is not retiring. It will be carrying over. So if you're interested in this um, and want to wait and get stuff that's retiring, um, just know that this you will, will be available after June 1st. So you will need those two stamp sets, your DSP, your Banner Triple Punch. I have some Calypso Coral Solid Baker's Thick Baker's Twine. Ink colors I have out are Calypso Coral, So Saffron, Peekaboo Peach, Early Espresso, and Bermuda Bay. I have three ink daubers. Um, Peekaboo Peach, Calypso Coral, Bermuda Bay. We're going to do some ink daubing today. This is the piece of DSP I chose to use. I have some scraps of Very Vanilla. I have a card base of Bermuda Bay. It's going to be a side, uh, well, it's a side folding A2 size card, but we're going to flip it this way to make it a top folding. When it is scored and folded, it measures five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to cut this down to five and a fourth by four. And then I have my piece of very vanilla and it is four and three quarters by three and a half. So it's quite small. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this down. But with this being kind of like a sun ray, I want, and here's my sample card. Really cute. It uses the circus tints, and here's we're going to be doing some ink topping. But I want my um, panel to be kind of the centerpiece. I don't want it over here where you have the rays shooting out to the left, and then on the right, there's nothing. I hope that makes sense. So around the whole edge, even though you can, you know, it's, most of it's covered, it's even. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my card base and place it where I want it so it's centered and I'm going to lightly just mark oops not my card base but the piece of DSP and then I'm going to bring my trimmer out and trim it okay so what I will do is I just take my trimmer and I go ahead and trim where I drew the line Now obviously this is going to be the size of my card base, but I want it a little bit smaller. I want that fourth of an inch border. So I don't want to take, I need to take away a fourth of an inch. I don't want to take a fourth of an inch off one side because then my sun ray will be uneven. Now looking at this, it looks like I have more over here, but that's okay. So I want this side to measure five and one fourth. So how I do that, because I want to trim off both ends, is I go, so five and one fourth, I go to five and, what is this? Three eighths, five and three eighths trim, and then I do five and a fourth from there, and I just trim off a tiny bit. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? So let's do the top. The top measures four and a quarter. Well, I want mine, to measure four so here is four I don't want to just cut off one side so I do four and an eighth trim it and then flip it and then do four 
Hopefully that made sense. If not, do it how you want. <laughs> it's easy when you do it. It's kind of weird to explain, but hopefully you get it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this on my card base, but you've been watching me, you know that I always at least skip one supply. So go ahead and place this down. You also need stamp. I'm going to do things a little bit differently than my sample card. So you'll need your stamping dimensionals while I'm thinking about it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this aside. Next, I'm going to take my panel, my very vanilla panel, and I'm going to grab some scrap paper just to have. I'm going to take the Swirly Bird stamp set, and my favorite stamp in here is the Splatter stamp. I love it because it can be used for so many things and it's nice to have a splatter stamp. Now when I did this card, the splatter was an afterthought, but this time I'm going to do it first. So I'm taking So Saffron because I don't want my splatter too dark. Here I took Bermuda Bay, but I'm going to take So Saffron, stamp off, and then just stamp anywhere. And it's really light against this very vanilla. And that's what I like about it. Ooh, that was not light. <laughs> you know how that happened. But that's okay. Okay? I'm going to have a little splotch right there, but it's okay. We're going with it. All right, next, I'm going to take my tent stamp. And I am going to ink this up in Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to probably have to edit some of out because I'm going to have to get right on top of my card to make sure it is straight. I did a sample card and it came out really bad because this my tents were crooked. But what I'm basically doing is I'm going to stamp two tents in the background and you want to make sure you stamp them pretty far you know, go to far to the left and then far to the right because the one in the center will cover up any gap. But you want to make sure that you don't stamp this one too far in and then you don't have room for this one. I'd rather have space here and here than obviously having to redo it. So I stamp off and then I'm going to stamp my image so it's lighter than the one in the front. Okay, so take my Bermuda Bay. Make sure it's all inked up. Stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp, but make sure I get it nice and straight. All right, let's hope that it's straight. That looks pretty good. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the right. Stamp off. Okay, it's a little bit higher than this one, but not a big deal. All right, then I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper, vanilla, very vanilla, Take my tent and I'm going to stamp full strength and then fussy cut this out. All right, so here is my little tent. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, let me think, I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. So I'm going to go ahead and add stamping dimensionals to the back here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the twine around the card panel. Here, I did it in the card base. So when you open it, you can see the twine. And that's not a big deal to me. But I'm going to show you how to do it without having it around the card base. It's going to be around the card panel. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm just going to take my twine, flip it, I love the thick baker's twine, it just just looks better than the thinner, in my personal opinion. Okay, so 
So there's my bow. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take my card panel and go ahead and stick it to my card base. Usually I like to use some solid. I don't like using dimensionals to pop up a panel, but for the sake of this video, we're just gonna stick with it. But some, I like 3M foam tape to create solid so you have full coverage. So whatever your preference is, go ahead and smack that down. I like to use a glue dot to secure my bow just underneath the knot. You don't see it and it stays in place. This may move, but your bow won't. Then we're gonna go ahead and take my tent piece and some more Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm just gonna use a couple this time. And then I'm gonna hear it, adhere it in the center like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on our sentiment. Um, if you notice, this is a looks like a banner. I'm going to tell you a show you a trick on how to create that look without having a banner type die, and um, we're going to do an ombre look here. So you will need a just a scrap of vanilla. Actually, here is my we'll use this. <laughs> here is my practice piece where I did my tents really like that's too far over, and then these were really crooked. So just you know, practice. By the time I do a video, I'm somewhat, I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to take, I hope your birthday, I love when your birthday comes around. I want to use Bermuda Bay. Get this out of the way before I ruin it. Calypso Coral. And Peekaboo Peach. So I think I said we need, we we're going to use Early Espresso. We won't use that. So I won't include it in the supply list. So I'm going to put my ink daubers with the right ink. So what I'm going to do is I have this sticky note here. And you can use anything, a piece of scrap paper, whatever. And I'm going to cover up the top. Actually, let me think for a second. Yes, I'm going to cover up the top here to only expose I love when you're birth. I love when you're. Okay. And I want this in Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to take my Bermuda Bay ink, uh, ink and ink dauber. And you kind of have to move, I mean, you don't have to go crazy fast, but move quickly. So I'm gonna ink that up. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom of the stamp. Ink that up quickly. Then I'm going to take the Calypso Coral and I kind of do the corner here. And then I'm gonna ink up the bottom portion of Birthday. And it is going to touch the bottom sentiment, but you know what? That's okay. And then I'm going to take the Peekaboo Peach, ink up the corner of my dauber, and then ink up this part of the word birthday. And then the trick is to huff on it. <sighs> and then go ahead and stamp it down. When you huff on it, it kind of reactivates the ink. And there we go. So I think it creates a pretty ombre look. I don't know. I like it a lot. So what I want to do is trim this off. And I'm just going to cut it in a square, a rectangle shape. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I've cut this out. And I'm going to take this same piece of scrap. And I'm just going to... Lay this here and kind of eyeball it and kind of cut out a similar size piece. And then I'm going to take my triple banner punch or banner triple punch, whatever. Go ahead and clip the edges each end. This one's a little crooked. Let me fix this. Better. And then I'm just going to cut it in the center. So 
what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and add dimensionals along. Let me see how I did this. Okay, for this one I did this piece, the banner here was complete solid all the way across. And that may actually be easier, but so instead of clipping it, I just would cut like this long of a piece and it would be all the way across. But whatever, we're going with this. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I don't know why I stuck this one in the center. I don't think I'll need that one. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to However far you want that banner piece to stick out, stick that there. And then we're going to go over here and do the same. So now it looks like you have a little banner template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double up this dimensional and then I'm going to add a dimensional to each end. Because if I add a dimensional to these ends, this one won't make contact with my card base. So now they're all even. Go ahead and take my card base. And I'm kind of going down to hide this ink splotch I got. <laughs> all right. I think that looks really good. I have my Wink of Stella. I'm going to add a little sparkle to the flags. And then for just to give it a little extra something, I'm going to add a couple rhinestones. Oops. And there we go. I think that looks really good. This is a really fun set. Um, I don't know if I'll be back with this set tomorrow or with another retiring set. Things are going fast. So if you want to place an order, definitely place an order. Um, but I'm worried that I'm going to spend too much time on a set and then... <laughs> Something's going to sell out and I wouldn't have had a chance to show you guys. So we'll, I will be back tomorrow. It'll be a surprise with what I return with. But there is our card for today. I love the twine. Um, see the difference how it is wrapped around the card panel. And this is the card base. And the little jewels. So really pretty. Really fun. And then you can see the ink splatter more on here. But you kind of have to look closely for here. But either way, I love it. So, all the supplies will be listed below. With this, it is while supplies last. So if you click on a, if you go to order and it is out of stock, just know that when I filmed this, it was in stock. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to use that hostess code if your order is under 150. And a reminder, if you do place an order and you choose no contact, please know that I have no idea who you are. And I would love to send you some goodies in a, a catalog in the mail. Um, but I can't if you choose no contact. So if you don't want to be contacted, that is totally fine. But I don't want you to choose that and think, well, where is my card kit supplies? Just know that I do not have your information. So let me know if you have any questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.